all clear was given at one o'clock today. Um, like we said, we didn't get the winds and we know that they're gonna be decreasing even further over the next 24 hours, 48 hours. So the all clear was given so that the island can start get back down to normal. Since yesterday, we had Hurricane Delta pass our area. Um, we're fortunate that it took a more westerly turn than, it, than what was predicted initially. And for that reason, we didn't, we didn't receive the amount of rainfall and wind that we expected. Like I said, that's, that's a good thing. Um, but the good news is we're all prepared. We, we saw people battening down and, and actually taking precautions that they needed to take. Um, and we hope that it, on its per current trajectory, it'll continue to move away from us. So. The shore took, did take a beating, especially the southern and western coast. Um, the system produced waves around 6 to 8 feet and then swells, which is just a little on top of that, about 2 or 3 feet on top of that. So the shores did take a beating. The swells are expected to continue um, on for the next 24 to 48 hours as the system progresses. And currently, it'll, it'll start affecting more the, the town as the system moves away and the swells become more westerly. So, but the, the winds are gonna be still out of the northeast, but the swells are gonna be coming in from the west. I understand the temptation, but these type of seas can produce um, undercurrents, they can produce undertows, and people can get in serious trouble if you try to go in the water. So please stay out of the water until it's safe. There is a marine warning in effect at the moment, and we would like people to heed that until that is also lifted before we deem it safe to go inside the waters.